Shalom, shalom. Good, good morning. Shabbat. Shalom to all of you. Um, really excited to be on today. Um, today is day six of our 21 day focus. Good morning, uh, Johnny. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, good morning, Victoria. Good morning again. Sports lady, good morning. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. Blessings to you as well. <clears throat> uh, please invite others to uh, to join us on on this call today, or not not call on this broadcast. Uh, sometimes my language I use so many different uh, communication mediums. Sometimes I I get a little. Uh, mixed up about the language, but this is not a call. This is a broadcast, and it is live, okay? And so today we are in day six. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be on with us yesterday, but the word for yesterday is posted on our website at uh, creativeawakenings.us. So uh, the word on yesterday, powerful word about faith and standing. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, powerful word about faith in the midst of mountains. And so um, these, these 21 days as we're, as we're moving toward Pentecost, I, I like to use the word marching toward Pentecost because as we're moving toward Pentecost, one of the things that uh, this emphasis is about is um, we're emphasizing uh, helping the body of Christ develop a, a mentality for harvest. And I really believe, and I've, I've been looking through every prophetic word that, uh, that I've been writing and releasing on these broadcasts, I've been looking for the harvest key. And so I believe that at the end of these 21 days, uh, we're going to have 21 keys that will help us develop a harvest mentality. Very important that we have a harvest uh, mentality. I believe that's what uh, Pentecost is is all about. It got Holy Spirit came down <clears throat> on the day of Pentecost, and that, of course, is not the first Pentecost, but Holy Spirit came down and created a harvest. Good morning, good morning, Prophet Q. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and so. Uh, so the Lord put this put this uh, call on me to really uh, just reach out uh, to as many of you who follow me, and uh, and I pray that these words will bless you. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and give you the word for today. I have called you to be a king and a priest in my kingdom. Wow! I just <laughs> my phone turned off right there. I have called you to be a king and a priest in my kingdom. As a king, you have rule and responsibility to walk in wisdom and teach others my way. As a priest, you stand before me, says the Lord, to receive revelation and sow the seeds of my love in those I send you to. I have set you in a spear as a king and in my temple as a priest. Stand in who I have called you to be and do what I have given you grace to do, says the Lord. All right. That's a powerful word. All right. So again, harvest mentality, you are a king and a priest. As a king, you have a kingdom. Okay. And, uh, and your kingdom is, of course, it starts with you. Are, are you ruling yourself? Because you cannot rule in your sphere until you first learn how to rule yourself. And so as we rule ourselves, okay, we are, we are establishing our kingship, okay? Then you have responsibility, rule and responsibility. Uh, amen. Good. Thank you for joining us, uh, Brother Tom Tom. Um, thank you, sir. That's, that's all. I, I, I know we've, uh, I've seen you on uh, Apostle Rick's uh, broadcast, so thank you for joining us this morning. So as a king, and I don't, I don't, you know, I've given a word. I don't want to preach it or try to teach it, but I just want to activate that your harvest is in your kingdom. And as a priest, you are called 
to stand in the presence of God and you are called to stand with God. Good morning, uh, Prophet Shante. And so I, I just uh, let this word encourage you today. What is your sphere? And that's the that's the uh, word of meditation I want to leave uh, with you. OK, uh, identify your sphere and your ministry. Well, what is a spear? It is it is your geographic or it is your region. It can it it is geographic, but it's also spiritual. It's natural, okay? It's natural and spiritual. Identify your sphere. Identify the region that God has called you to. Um, you have been called to be a watchman over the city that you are assigned. And unless the watchman watches over the city, okay, then uh if there's no watchmen, there's no there's no uh, security. Okay, and so identify your sphere and identify uh, your ministry. Where has God set you, and to whom has God called you? And that's where your harvest is. It's in your kingdom, and it's in your ministry. Your kingdom is where you rule and have responsibility. Where you steward. Your ministry is to whom you have been called to. Who are you called to, all right? And so that's a harvest mentality. Uh, that's a harvest mentality. So that, that's, that's all I've got to say. A uh, couple other things. I'm going to be doing a webinar next week. I did the first one this week. I'm going to be doing a second webinar this week because I'm offering a free ebook, How to Get a Breakthrough, The Three Laws of Breakthrough, and... Um, and then also we'll be offering an online course that that goes along with the book. But this coming Thursday, I'm going to be doing a free webinar for more information to get the information for the webinar because it's a, it's private. It's not public. Uh, you need to go to my uh, website, creativeawakenings.us, uh, sign in at the top of my page. And when I get your uh, when I get your address. Uh, then I will send you the information for the webinar on next week. Okay. Uh, also, I am an author. I have I have about five books published on Amazon. I actually have eight books published, but five of them are on Amazon. You can go to Amazon, find us Bernard Bolton, B O U L T O N. Okay, and uh, connect with us. Uh, we have a ministry that. Uh, uh, that meets here in the uh, Fort Mill, South Carolina, Greater Charlotte area, uh, Washington on Walls, Apostolic Prophetic uh, Ministry. And uh, how do you not get in your own way? Uh, that's a good question. And let me give you let me give you uh, an answer to that. Okay, <clears throat> understand what the what, what the word way means. Way means it means life. Uh, and direction. It means to go in a certain path. Okay. Now, Jesus says in John 14, I am the way. So how do I not get in my own way? I walk in the way that he is setting before me. I walk in the way that he is setting before me. Don't sabotage your way. Don't do things. This is a key word. Don't do things that's going to get you out of the way. In another passage in Isaiah, it says, and, and they all, that every sheep went their own way. Okay. What that means is when you go your own way, you, are, you separate yourself from the shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. He is your way. As long as you walk with him, he leads me in paths of righteousness. Psalms 23. Okay. So, Walk in the way that the Lord is setting before you. Follow him. Take up your cross and follow him. And then you will not get in the way. You will not get in your own way because the way that he has set before you is a good way. Okay? So that's a great question. All right. So let's connect. Uh, if you live in the Fort Mill area, if you live in uh, the greater Charlotte area, uh, then I would love to have you attend our meetings. We're, we're planning on having two meetings in the month of June. Uh, and, um, and so you can connect with us at Watchman on Walls. Uh, blessings to you. Good to see you, uh, Prophet Diana. You can connect with us and we'll get you more information. All right. Shabbat Shalom.
Uh, have an exciting weekend, holiday weekend. I pray the blessings of the Lord uh, over you. All right. Well, in, well, maybe one day you'll be able to get up here, okay? Or, or maybe I'll get to South Florida. I don't, I don't know. But um, I, I tell you, the meetings are worth, are worth it. And I know that the Lord is 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 calling. Not only uh, this is our region, this is our sphere in the, the Carolinas, but I know that the Lord is, you know, he's, he's, he's opening the door uh, for us, okay? Well, if you got a cousin in Charleston, uh, that's about three hours away from us, uh, but they may want to drive up for the fellowship because it's a, it's a great fellowship. Yeah, it's about, I think it's about three, three hours. I think Fort Bill to Charleston is about three hours, okay? All right, so uh, I look forward to, to connecting with all of you. God bless you. Amen. All right, we'll see you. Uh, we'll be back on maybe tonight, uh, most definitely tomorrow morning. Shalom.